showing them going deep enough, remember? Yeah, that's what I remember. On a corner, they were sh shortcutting a corner or something or. Yeah, but that, but that was all along Lightning Ridge. And, and I don't know what, and, and you guys are right about that. It's totally underground from Gray Road right to Sylvia's house. But what I'm not clear on is what, if any, what is the resolution and how does it get from Sylvia's house across the road to Ron and Maggie's? Both of which were on those sketches that they were, that they brought to the meeting. Uh, my well, aunt, my Rose is coming on board so we can uh, settle this. Okay, good. Uh, well, my, my understanding is, was that Doug Lilly uh, encumbered that property and required a number of things, including that the utilities be buried. So it was just to, uh, out of res you know, meeting that, those requirements out of respect to, to those, those easements, um, not easements, but conditions on the deed. Covenants. Covenants, there you go. Um, that, that they're honorees, not that the cable company wanted to do that or that the property owners necessarily would have done it mm -hmm. on their own. It's that they, they were required to do so. And so my guess is beyond that, the other people aren't going to do that. But that's only a guess. There's Rose who can clear up their confusion. Hey, Hi, Rose. I got supper. Okay. <laughs> so we have a question for you on the September 14th minutes when we were talking about Eustace Cable. Right. And you had put in not underground overhead, but we're all remembering that they were talking about putting all of the cable underground. What are we missing? that you meant by that comment? What I meant was that um, Alfred's response was he, he will ask them if they can go overhead over the pasture instead of underground. And see, we're all remembering so the, that. We're all yeah, remembering so, that he was talking about going underground. Across, across the, the field. Alfred was talking about them going underground across the field. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, then I misunderstood what he said because how could you bury cable under a field that gets plowed and mowed? And I thought he meant that they would, he would see if they would go over the field, run the line above ground. So I guess I'm not sure. So put in whatever the correct answer is. Yeah. And, you know, thinking You're about a this for knowing what that was, Rose. Yeah. You were supposed to clear up our confusion. Oh, but, right. they, but they've withdrawn the application anyways, but yeah, yeah, right, right. But the so, minutes would be nice if they were correct. Right, right. Could that one so, word, could that one word be removed to say, but rather go across a field? Or, and, or and not be specific? Yeah. Or traverse the field. Ooh, traverse the field. Word. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right that means here, that they right go the over it, but don't know. Yeah. That means they go over it, but you don't know if it's overground or underground. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. We can keep it vague. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving along. Um, yes, October 12th. Yep. Okay, we're missing a word here. The chair replied that the board is aware the appointment is outstanding and we will reply when we have an answer. Just missing a word or two in there. Yeah, just put and after outstanding. Yeah. No, 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 not there, Cliff. No, that's Katie. Chair, the chair replied. Not there, Katie. Get right here, Katie, where it says out appointments were outstanding. And right, you got it. Or I just clicked, Katie. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Um,
so what did, did you rewrite that paragraph, Sharon? Yeah, I did. What was the matter with the way it was? Um, I don't remember. It wasn't, it, it. I think it was just far less information, right? That could be right. I, I feel like when I saw that you added the details of um, like how many pages of, I remember my brain trying to keep up at the end of that conversation <clears throat> and adding what the gist was rather than the details there. So I, I figured. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't have had the pages in my notes. You must have had that, but. Oh, maybe I did. Um, but just knowing exactly what they did, um, what's what kinds of records are scanned, yeah, I just read it and said, oh, I can really clean this up. Mm -hmm. So in the last sentence, adding more volumes to our scan, to our online, to our, don't we want to say, these are all going to be online. Digital. Right. We were digital. We were yeah, digital because this, this will make it so that people like Sharon can do research without having to go into the offices, right? Right. Right, and and this is an expansion of something we already started. Um, right. So we want to say adding more vines to our digitally scanned records. Oh, this, is one of, this is one of the things that I really wanted to be clear because it was it was it felt a little muddy in Katie's you know yeah as she said trying to get it all just get the gist. Um, you know we're both we're we're doing a lot of scanning and making it digital, but. Um, but Judy's spending a lot of time as a copier, but she's right. like scanning. So then you're like, well, why? Well, I, I know why, because between, <laughs> because with COVID, she's spending time at the copier with all of the stuff that wasn't scanned yet to get right. that out to people. So I wanted that all to be really clear. So when, when town clerks do that, like Judy doing that, once she's taken them out of the books and copied them does she then scan them and send them to the attorney or or mail them oh she scans it and sends it to the attorney so right. it was two so it was two steps you have to copy the document then you have to scan it and then you have to send it oh she might be able to scan directly i mean usually oh maybe maybe scan directly but what she was telling us is that we're 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 sending a lot more things out to be scanned so that she doesn't have to spend as many hours on the copier, but because of COVID, but she's spending, anyway, so I tried to make all of those points much more clear. Okay, and can we say, after, and after records, can we say, this will make, um, this will make town, the town office function much more efficient or something like that? Instead of a lot easier, yeah, we'll yeah. Make, make, make the town office staff more efficient. Yeah. So actually, I mean, this is a blessing in disguise getting this all done. Yeah, um, town of Moortown after the flood back whenever, after Irene, they had they they had to scan everything, um, right? Because it was all yeah. flooded. So, so yeah. Wow. So so just a question, just out of curiosity, when you look at the records that way, does that? I mean, you're not actually pulling the files and looking to make sure there isn't anything else that you need to see. Is it considered legal when you when you use the record from such like this? Uh, well, different attorneys will approach it differently. What I, if I'm not able to actually be in the records and I have to rely on the clerk. So usually what you'll do is you'll ask, or what I would do is ask the clerk for copies from the cards and for the index. So you're starting with what documents are in the records. And then, yeah. and then you want to know from the index and the cards, am I getting everything? But if it's all in the cards, they're not going to do that. They're not going to go through their card index and scan all the cards and send them to you. So that's where you have to... Um, Anyway, so if I so if I get like an electronic index, and then I go back and forth and get stuff from the clerk electronically, um, or I'm able to pull some of it electronically and then say, would you mind? I know you're so busy, blah, blah. Um, I still always say in my title report, 
that due to the restrictions of COVID-19, this is my process. This is, these are, this is, these are records as I relied on them. Okay. Okay. That's just interesting because, you know, I can just imagine 10 years from now, somebody finds something that somebody forgot, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, I always, unless I actually don't go out and do very, very often um, anymore. I don't, cause I'm too busy. I don't go out and do the research myself. Yeah. Um, I have somebody who does that, who's really skilled at it. Yeah. Um, but unless we're actually able to get in the office, yeah. which is hard because even then, and in fact, Callus is one of the more difficult ones um, because we are being uber careful. You know, careful. Yeah, um, sorry, sorry to deviate. I was just curious. It's been okay. a question I've been wanting to know yeah. the answer to for a while. So thank you. All right, what's next? Conservation Commission. Isn't that what we had that the committee was going to serve on a See when when you do it when you do it that way, Sharon. I don't know what it used to say because I thought it said that before that the next steps were the conservation commission will. Because I think I read them before you did. Is Sharon there? No, I'm here. I'm looking at it. Um, I think a lot of it is just copied and then filling in or I else I, I think what did I do Katie I cut it from here and moved it up there because it like I said before it went back and forth between content and then mm -hmm. process so I just put all of the content and substance in one place I oh I see okay very much okay all right next Okay. Okay. Very good. All right, is there a motion to approve with changes? So moved. Okay, is there a second? Second. All right. Any further discussion? What are you eating, Madam Rose? That looks like a dessert. It is. It looks yummy. Thank you. Um, all those in favor, Rose. Aye. Cliff. Aye. Sharon. Aye. John? Aye. Aye, aye. And I'm an aye, aye, Captain. All right. Next. <clears throat> this is a real short one. I right. didn't see any edits in it. Right. That was that one about um, when Bruce was out. Okay, is there any comments or changes to that? Well, I would move to approve. Okay, I'll second it. All right, are you ready to vote? All right, Cliff. Aye. Rose. Rose was absent that meeting. Aye. Right? Oh, okay. Are you abstaining, Rose? Oh, I. You can vote, it doesn't care. matter. Which date are you on? September 22nd when we had the special meeting about Bruce. Okay. Yeah, I'll abstain. Okay. John? Aye. Sharon? Aye. And I'm an aye. Okay, we're moving to the minutes of 928. 
I could use feedback about these minutes because when I was editing them, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm saying too much. It, there was so much content in that meeting. I, I guess I would like to know if there's a thumbs up that this level of detail should be included or if there's an area that you wish I would be more um, vague or generalized, I'd like to know. I, I like it when the minutes say more rather than less because then you can remember what actually happened and the public can know what happened. I agree. Okay. Yeah, and, and then Katie just, yeah, and then for your part, don't be offended if, you know, I mean, I tend to go through and maybe tighten things up or re delete something that, you know, was said four times and, you know, just. No, I won't, I won't. Readable, but, but I can't even do that. I do that based on your, you know, I don't very often bring anything independent in unless it was something I felt really strongly about. Okay, what's the auditors gave the board the opportunity? Yep. Yeah, it was the fiscal year that we were talking about. Okay. That was going to be a deficit in the town hall. Um, in the, you know what I'm talking about. That it's there in the fun. paragraph. Yeah, was for FY20. And that's the and that's the audit that this, the auditors just did was FY20 because we're currently in FY21. Just for clarification. How's that? We'll put it there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. And uh, on the curb cut thing, the one, two, three, four, five, six, I think it's the six. It says on the south side, BU. Mm -hmm. um, is that supposed to be butt only? South, south side of the building only, maybe. I don't know what's supposed, what somebody meant to put there. On the south side of Chicago. There you go. This is Sharon's edit, but maybe it should say but only, probably. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It should be but only. 120 oh. feet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, that is what I meant. Thank you. Oh, you guys are on curb cut now. That's where I was, yeah. I was trying yeah. to get that one right. Yeah. Okay. I had a question. Yes, ma'am. The last sentence of that yellow highlighted paragraph, um, he noted it is a class four road and the board noted class four roads uh, are included in the ordinance. I think class four roads are not included in the ordinance. No, they are, Rose. They are. We hoped it's they were not and, and we absolutely confirmed that they are. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's why in I the town, that's why I took town, out the, town highway traffic ordinance. No, in or, the curb cut ordinance. Oh, in the curb cut ordinance. Well, maybe we should write that because I was thinking, tra um, town highway yeah. ordinance. Yeah, and, and that's why I struck the part where we were using about oh maybe they're not because we don't need the question to be in the minutes when right. we confirm that they're, they are. Right. Yeah. yeah, good. No, yeah, put curb cut ordinance in there. It probably should be capitalized, Katie. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the next paragraph, it says Rose Petrov reviewed the site and reminded the board curb cut permits for the creation of an ADA parking area, not a parking permit. Where are you? Where are you, Rose? The first sentence of that next paragraph. 
<clears throat> what do you want it to say? If he wants permit to be changed to area. Yep. No, it's already oh, done. Parking area. Okay, I see. Yeah, Katie's got it. Katie's on it. Yep. Okay. And on the on the the should instead of may, we I'm not I it's there's a place in the ordinance where it says we have discretion. John and I argued about how and whether it applies, and so I took. I mean, the fact is we decided we're going to just pretend for that it does. So I put exceptions should be possible. Where uh, are you? I'm just in that same paragraph. I don't know where you guys. Oh, never mind. You guys have already moved on. Sorry, I'm looking at a different set. Um, all right, never mind. Keep going. You're good. We're we're still there. I was just complaining my thought process, explaining my thought process. And okay, you ready to move? Keep going. Yeah, go keep going. And then down here, I struck the operations manager suggested because is Orca still on? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, because I felt like that input was not um, yeah, I thought it was better struck. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And and Katie, where uh, I didn't get this far in my advanced review, but where it's I'm just down here. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm going to move back and watch what you guys are watching. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to move on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but here, but. Um, We've all, I didn't get this far, but in my editing, the motion was voted and passed for, oh, Denise, this is a technicality, but Denise didn't abstain. She was recused. Oh, thanks. You could, I would even say was recused and not participating just to make it really, really clear for people. And did not participate. And did not participate. Yeah, either way. That makes sense, Katie, different than abstaining? Yes, I, I didn't realize that. I don't think I mean, there's any changes to wood chippers and all those other things. We skipped one. Um, Denise had made a comment about a sentence about, about the North Calais Memorial Hall's time limitations. Yeah, I think you put in a word Okay. I, was, I, I wasn't sure what the what we were looking for there. It just seemed like it was missing a word. But when I read it, when I read it, it made sense to me. So, yeah, maybe I added something. Yeah, somebody added a word, so then it made sense. Can we have John read the? John, did you read the stuff about Santa Vermont Solid Waste Management? I did not. Where, let me pull it up here. Can we have him read it while we talk about some other things? We can do that. Might that. Get con that might get confusing. What other things would we talk about? Oh, the weather? Move on. No, no, no. Move on and circle back and we'll prove them minutes later. Well, I think we're almost, it won't take John long. What's that, What's after Central Vermont to look at on the other pages? Appointments, reappointments, IT update, town hall update, other updates. Okay, did anybody have any? Give, give me a couple of minutes. Yep. Did we have any, did anybody have anything on the end of these minutes? I didn't get that far. Okay.
But Cliff gave the town hall update, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Cliff, if you read it and you're satisfied, I'm sure then it's fine. Yeah, it was fine to me. So did I saw um did did we get a camera ordered for Jay? He didn't respond to me. Uh, my last okay. email, I told him, I said, you know, if you like this one, I can either order it or you can order it and we'll reimburse you. And I didn't hear anything after that. Yeah, sometimes when he's been working all day, he doesn't, you know, sometimes they work in the evenings, afternoon, evening shift kind of thing. He, I'm sure he'll he get back 12 to you. Hours. Yeah. yeah, I'm they sure he'll get back to you. Shift. Yep, that's what I figured. Yep. Um, but the just so everyone knows the camera that we're looking at, we will be able to uh, save some money. Oh, good. And, it, and yeah, because we want it to be so that it's kind of usable if somebody else might need to borrow it for a town related thing. And yeah. and it does it have to have a choice of whether it's a Mac or a PC? No, that's the nice thing about this camera. It has a built-in Wi-Fi connection. So okay. you can upload the pictures to a, uh, personalized photo album that exists in the cloud yeah and you can access it from whatever whether you're on windows mac anything okay. download the photos print them whatever you want to do so i got a question as long as we're not talking about minutes right now so i still not every day or every other day even i still get calls from seacoast it almost seems like it's more like on a sunday early, early Sunday morning or towards the end of the week? Is there a, re is there a reason for that, that it would be more towards one and one part of the week than the other? That they don't um, get, a, it's because they don't get a response and we all know what the answer is because I've asked enough times why they don't get a response. They, they have a script that they, the alarm system runs through and it runs any number of routines and self checks and it's probably set there's some random element to it but at just the way it breaks down okay you know, so there's no reason that right no particular no rhyme or reason as to why it would be more likely to happen at one time versus another other than it's constantly rolling through the script of yeah. self-tests yeah i've just been kind of making a mental note that it always it seems to be like on a weekend so maybe they do some kind of other testing on a weekend i don't know it could be that they figure, well, a building's less likely to be used on weekends, a municipal building less yeah. likely to be used on weekends, so they run a more extensive battery of tests. Hmm. Um, I know there's been times I've walked in there, um, gone into the building on weekdays, and the alarm is, is beeping. Yeah. Huh. Uh, with that same error code. Okay. And it could also be that um, I don't know if, if John was there doing some work or something and he didn't want to hear the beep, he would disable the, you know, tell it to ignore the error and yeah, then okay. it's not going to come on again until the next time it runs that test. Okay. And everybody knows that the tours never took place over the weekend at fall foliage because there wasn't enough help to be had. Hmm. Yeah, we decided to um, reconvene with the friends group and decide upon if if there was still strong interest in doing that, uh, set a date that more volunteers could be available to help orchestrate the whole event. And do, do you, Katie, do you see the paragraph that says the board decided to deviate under the town hall update stuff? Mm, I remember it. Let me, yeah, I'm, getting, I'm going. Further, it's... I can see where it says because the nature of the of the event it's missing a word because of the nature. There you go. Mm. I didn't see that before. All right, John, are you done? There's a lot here. I'm almost done. A lot. Okay. Under um, section twelve, under appointments, reappointments. I just added one, two, three. The fourth line down when it talks about Ruth Porter's three year term that began in March, and then you could insert and expires in 2023. Okay.
so I got a question for the other board. Do you want me to see if I can get Jamie? We talked about having Jamie come and um, talk to us about the edible garden because they were supposed to provide us with annual updates or whatever. Do we want to try to see if we can get her on for the um, uh, the next Monday regular meeting? What else? How how um, aggressively packed is that agenda already, though? I'm working on it. We've got um, we wanted if if, we, if we're going to put something on there about the speeding on County Road, that's going to take quite a while. We're going to have I would think a lot of people interested in participating in that. Um, so, you know, that's going to take at least a half an hour, I would think. You know, we could ask her to come. Um, uh, yeah, if we're going to, if we've got a, a big fat topic that I would say no. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think what else we have. I made some notes. Does anybody remember uh, anything else? October 12th is when Alfred's supposed to come and Toby. So that's going to be big. Oh, the road crew UVM study thing. Sounds yeah. like it's going to be a lot of road stuff. So maybe it would be better to, I mean, it's not going to, nothing's going to happen this season anyways, because everything's dead, but you know, she could come even in November. Yeah. And talk about that. Okay. The U road crew UVM study. And then we have County road, County road speeders. I can see that. I can see that taking a really long time to discuss that. So, so I've completed reviewing it. There's only one correction I think is necessary. It's the very last sentence before we get to paragraph, the paragraph number 12. It says the board questioned how the town will go forward knowing their district is on top of things. I think it should say the board questioned how the town will go forward knowing their district has not been on top of things. I think that was the question. Yeah, you're right. I think that makes sense because when I read I when I read that sentence I thought hmm is that oh, right? I see. Um, yeah, I I meant what you're saying, but I see how it doesn't read read that way. Yeah. Boy, Katie, you're you're good. She is good. You nailed it. I was I, I was like oh I'm angry about this whole recycling thing. I better say it fairly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like they buried no okay. You were ang as angry as us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is the way that I should say it, the board questioned how the town will go forward knowing their district has not been on top of things? Yeah, that works. Or, or is not. Yeah. Is not, that's that's bold. Yeah, good. Or has been unresponsive to these concerns and the issue or? No, I'm just say it like it is. I think if you read everything before this, you know exactly what we're referring to. <laughs> yeah. Nice job, Katie. Thank you. All right. With that, with that, is somebody ready to make a motion to approve these minutes with changes? Hang on. I actually, I'm sorry, you guys. Did we all, there was a part where we, okay, operations manager is working with the state regarding, there was a place where I said, where is this? What are you talking? Where oh, are you? Shoot. You know what? I bet I wrote the comment and I didn't, and I forgot to like hit comment. So where are you? I'm up, be up item five that we already went past. Um, working with the state. Did it used to say state people, Katie, regarding solar powered speed sign permit? On item the operations five. Manager met with the state right of way. That right of way people. You could say employees. Because um, they're actually the V, they're state oh, V trans, they're V trans personnel. Uh, yeah. So my question that I think I didn't like save properly is we don't actually say where in town we're talking about. So isn't this East Callis somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Route 14. Right, so, and work. To, um, we could just say yeah. on Route 14 in East Callis. Regarding East Fort. Yeah. I'm going to need to tidy up that sentence now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
yeah, you got to move some, move this, yeah, move some phrases around. But I think they're all in there. <laughs> yeah, now they're there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. That's a good catch. So let's do that. Is that all right? Are we ready to approve? Yeah. All right. Somebody want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as noted with changes. Um. And, is there a and, second? Um. Second and some even some continued cleaning up from Katie. Yeah, I in that paragraph five, it says Barry, Barry Cable on Ridge Road and forgot the word lightning. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, are you ready to vote, Rose? Mm -hmm. Aye. Cliff? I can't hear you. Aye. Okay. Sharon? Aye. John? Aye.